win these were handed their first loss of the tour thanks to Tommy Iqbal's 10th ODI ton and some top innings from a veteran Shaki Balasan and Mushfika Rahim. Skipper Mashifu Murtaza and Mustafiza Rahman shared six wickets as they blew away the Caribbean side on Sunday afternoon. With the historic day and night just hours away, Windies will quickly need to rebound and maintain their momentum from the test. Vanisha Mernetamaya made a gritty 50 at home, while Chris Gale, who was run out for 40, and the Windies middle order, which appeared shaky in the first test, will need to take a different approach come Wednesday. Skipper Jason Holo, following the loss on Sunday, blamed the poor feeling among other areas as contributing factors to the loss, but anticipated a good comeback as the series progresses. Meanwhile, it will be interesting to see if the Windies, who left out Guyanese all-rounder Kimo Paul and opener Kieran Powell in the first game, tinker with a possible team change. Bangladesh, on the other hand, is unlikely to change their winning combination as their side appear well-balanced in the first game. Game 2 will bowl off from 14 hours 30 on Wednesday, July 25th. Reporting for the Evening News Sport, Clifton Ross.